so we thought we would just do a little separate video to the Disneyland Paris vlogs um, just to give a little bit of a review of this hotel which is the Moxie Paris Val d'Europe Hotel um, we've stayed here now for two nights this is our final night and we've booked it for three nights specifically for a Disneyland Paris trip um, and I just wanted to do this video because when we was looking at booking it um, I checked YouTube for other people's reviews and stuff and there is next to nothing on YouTube specifically for this hotel and if there is anything it's in I'm assuming French but it could be another like there's nothing in English anyway there's no British uh, travel reviews of this hotel mm -mm. so I thought we would do a little one it's not gonna be too long um, just separate to our vlogs just to explain what we think of it so we've been here for two nights now um, really liked it you yeah really nice hotel it, it is honestly one of the nicest hotels I've stayed in in terms of like a um, city break hotel if that makes sense um, and it's very very clean and it's really really modern really that's a, modern that's very our vibe break. yeah, yeah. Um, I'll, I'll insert some clips of stuff as we're talking um, but one of the main things that I really like with us both being like in our 20s um, I love that the TV is a smart TV and not only is it a smart TV but it's got a Chromecast now that is like a, like a massive pro to me to you it might mean nothing but it also might be like a big deal like it is for us yeah um, it's got a Chromecast so the past two nights we have got in bed and connected our own Netflix or Disney Plus to the TV and just watched whatever we wanted to watch we are the type of people though who watch TV in bed yeah we so. are like so we had it on quite the TV on to yeah, go to sleep. We get, yeah, we have the TV on to go to sleep, which I know other people are like that, but other people need complete silence, don't they? But if you are like TV people when you go to bed, then yeah, really good TV. Um, with it's it being good smart size TV. as well. It is a good size. Um, and the the vibe of the room at night time, like it's not too bright. That sounds yeah. really random, but it's not too bright. Like it doesn't then wake you up because of how bright it is, which mm. isn't for us anyway. Um, yeah, so that's a massive plus and another massive plus is that there is loads of plug sockets Not just loads. plug sockets, but USBs and it's the normal USB and the USB-C, is that what it's called? Yeah So you are currently on the little um, shelf that's underneath the TV And directly below you that we're looking at there is two plug sockets and then there's one USB and one USB-C And then either side of the bed behind us, again on this side there is one plug, one USB, one USB-C on the other side, is it just one plug on that just side? Just one plug, yeah. One plug on that side. There is, by the mirror and hanging space area, there is a random plug socket in the middle of the wall. And by the door on the way in, there is a plug socket as well. So that's what one... There's one in the bathroom as well. Three, four, five, six. Six plug sockets in one room. Now, if we were staying at Disney, specifically Sequoia Lodge, there's two. <laughs> one under the telly and one by the door. Who wants Who wants it by the I mean, I know this one's got one by the door, but like that's kind of like an extra one. Like, that's the, of one of the main plug sockets, by the door. I, it, it, I find it mind-blowing when hotels these days don't have plug sockets by the bed. Yeah. Because, Pete, obviously, it's because that hotel's a bit old, but, <coughs> yeah, you would have thought they would have been invested. Um, so yeah, massive bonus, plug sockets everywhere. Can't comment on the breakfast because we haven't had it. We, we haven't, haven't had it now. We didn't pay for it. We haven't wanted to try it. But downstairs, the main lobby area is all kind of in one. There's no like separate dining location from what it? we've seen. Um, I'm going to film it in the morning, so it will have been shown at some point in this video. Um, so from when we've been leaving in the morning. The breakfast is in the same area as the bar. The bar is also the check-in desk. Um, so literally everything is all in the same room, but I will show you a clip of me talking now. Um, you literally check in at the bar, so it's like a bar slash check-in area mm -hmm. or check-out area. There's loads of tables and whatnot. Um, the breakfast looks good, but we did, like I said, we haven't tried it, so I can't really comment. Um, and in the evening, you can get like takeaway pizza which we haven't tried, but I've seen loads of people yeah. eating it and it looks really nice. It does look good. It looks like proper like hand-stretched 
pizza. Um, like, yeah, like proper like, like Italian looking pizza, not... In France. Not your Domino's. <laughs> um, yeah, not like your Domino's. Not, not like, yeah, a greasy takeaway pizza. It's like a nice looking pizza, if that makes sense. But yeah, we haven't actually tried it, but from what we've seen, it looks really good. Um, the hotel feels quite secure as well. The You can't access any of the stairways or the lifts without your room key. You call the lift and when you get in you have to scan your room card to be able to press a button to go anywhere. Same with all the staircases are behind a door and to be able to unlock the door to yeah. get to the staircase you've got to scan your room key which is quite nice as well. Um, we've both semi used the shower but we haven't used the shower to like do a hair wash. We've only had a shower. Yeah, like a body We've only shower. had a shower to have a body shower, but the shower seems all right. Yeah, it seemed all right. It seemed fairly. It wasn't like it wasn't <laughs> massive. It wasn't massively powerful from what I can remember last night. Oh no, you see, I shower. thought it was quite powerful. It wasn't weak though. We see, I like super super powerful, like water pressure. Yeah. But the only thing I will say about the shower is it's quite small. I'm tiny. Well, I say tiny. I'm not fat. You're five foot four. Five foot four. Yeah, let's give it that. And like, I was like elbow in the sides. Yeah. The bathroom is quite small. I've seen people on other reviews moaning that the bathroom is tiny. And yes, it is tiny to an extent. I mean, I did stand up from the toilet yesterday as I was pulling my leggings <laughs> up. Went boom with my elbow on the door because yeah. the door was closed. Um, so it is tiny. And it I is think, tiny. However, I think for adults it's fine. But yeah, and I also think that given the kind of vibe of this hotel, it's young people who are just using it as a base. Yeah. So you wouldn't want a full. Well, full we we bathroom. wouldn't want a full family bathroom. Yeah, but we've seen a lot of families stay in here. There, ma there might be, and if. Which mean there, there might be, be family bathroom rooms. Well, I don't know, but in our room, we've just got a double room. Um, the bathroom's not very big, and I think if you have got children, it'd be a struggle, you know, to try and help them in the shower and whatnot. Yeah. Um, and there's no bath, it's just a shower. But like Becky says, there could be family rooms, but we've not got one. We've just got a double <laughs> room. Um, my, now initially, so, I've read on a review before we came that someone said the the hotel is very set up for millennials and that literally from us arriving I'm like yeah you're right with everything from the smart TV to all the plug sockets to how modern it is to the vibe of downstairs like the vibe downstairs is very um, millennial millennial yeah, yeah. This is, millennial and yeah. like it's, yeah it's chill but it's got a bit of a vibe to yeah. it but I have also seen people here with children and they don't seem out of place yeah if that makes sense like there's no there's no one looking at the people with the kids like what are they doing here if that makes sense everyone's you know it's a nice vibe um but my only con that I really don't like is that there is zero storage well I say zero storage so there's this little hanging area over here where you've got the the um the thing to put the suitcase on the suitcase hold thing and you've got all the little hooks on the wall and there's like four or five hangers hanging from a bar now I initially was like oh that's really cool and you don't really need much now i suppose if you're just staying for literally one night that's absolutely fine we're obviously doing three nights and i have found myself at the end of the no oh, in the morning we've been getting ready and at the end of the night when i've been like getting changed into my pajamas and stuff like it's just been faffy because I've had no choice but to live out the suitcase. Now, if you're someone who lives out the suitcase, it's absolutely fine. But I do like to put a couple of things in, like, a drawer. And I don't think it needs a full-blown wardrobe, but I think at least one or two drawers, for me, would be helpful. Yeah, Because it's zero storage. I'm the complete opposite. I... I I'm fine the way it is. <laughs> I like the way it is. I am the type of person, though, like, so when I... <laughs> When I pack, I pack my clothes in outfits. Yeah. So I just literally go to my suitcase, pick out the outfit, and close the suitcase. I know, but so, I don't, I, because, so, this is a bit random and slightly off topic, but I'm dyslexic, and my main thing of being dyslexic is that I've got like zero working memory. My memory is horrendous. So everything being all tucked away in a box that I can't really see, I can't remember what's in there. <laughs> so I have to pull everything out, 
So then put it all back in because there's nowhere else to put it. So it's much easier for me to pull the drawer out and visually see it all. Um, and there'll be other neurodiverse people out there who will be the same as me. Whereas obviously you're neurodiverse but you're not got a working memory problem. And yeah. you quite you can remember and visualise what you've got in the case. So for me, a drawer would be helpful. <laughs> yeah. I but it, but that's it, personal it, it preference. is personal choice. Like Yeah. You and Joe can live out of a suitcase pretty easily. I like to pull a few things out. Don't mind leaving some things in that I know are just there as a just in case. Mm. But yeah. Um and aside from that, I can't really think of anything else to really discuss. It's been a really nice day. The beds have been very comfortable. They very are not, comfortable. The mattresses aren't too soft, but they're not too hard, in my opinion. We initially um, thought, oh, we've only got one pillow, and at home we sleep with two. But it's a really nice pillow. <laughs> it's like quite a <laughs> thick pillow, so it's it is like having two. Yeah. Um, and it hasn't been a problem for me. I've slept pretty similar to how I sleep at home which is pretty good going because usually I don't sleep very well in hotels regardless of how good the bed mm. is or isn't I don't really tend to sleep very well in hotels um, and I've slept pretty well um, the room does get quite hot but we're quite hot people like we get the warm corridors easily. are really really the warm rooms, but there is a thermostat on the wall we actually haven't touched it so we haven't however it's always been on yeah, we potentially though could have made it the room cooler, but we yeah. actually haven't attempted to try and make the room cooler. No, because the <laughs> housekeeping have just set it to whatever, whatever it's on. It's on like auto. One thing I would say... It's a nice temperature for when you're like, you know, just in the room, but when you've been in bed for a few hours, you wake up sweating. <laughs> yeah. Because it's just gotten quite warm. Yeah. Yeah, one thing I would say is the hand soap in the bathroom smells incredible. It's really nice. Yeah, the yeah, and they've got there's a hand soap and in the shower on the wall there's a shampoo, shampoo slash body wash and there's a conditioner. Which is rare, you don't only get conditioner. Mm. No, and no, sometimes you don't even get shampoo, you just get a body wash. Mm. But it seems like decent products. I mean I used it as a body wash last night and yeah. it smelled nice. Yeah. It didn't you know, it wasn't putting it on and like, oh, but this doesn't feel great. It felt yeah. like a nice, nice product. And um, this is like being really pedantic, not pedantic, but I have really sensitive skin and it's not giving me a flare up. No, but that's which specific, is, but good to know. Yeah, which it, again is random, but useful to know. Yeah. Because normally I have to bring my own. Yeah. And the only other thing, there is a hair dryer, but we haven't attempted to use it. But there is a hair dryer if anyone wants to know that. And there is towels, because I know that's another <laughs> question people always ask. Um, the big towels are a decent size and there is smaller ones as well, if anybody wants to know. Um, the only other thing I wanted to talk about is if you are looking to book this hotel for a Disneyland Paris trip, um, it's a great location. Great location. Brilliant. 100%. We've said if we can't stay on site at, I a would, hotel. at a Disney hotel, I would definitely book this again. Yeah. 100%. Really, really nice. Like we've, we've just said about the room, very clean and everything. But in terms of location, um, it's literally you come out of the front door of the hotel, you turn right, and you basically, as if you're walking around the building, and then you'll see a little gap in the building if that we'll makes the sense. Video in that we I'll show you now. It literally takes two minutes. Three minutes or so yeah. to walk from the front of um the hotel to the train station. Then you can get the R E R A line to Disneyland Paris. So you're getting on at Val de Europe train station and then you're literally going one stop to Marne La Valley, which is the train station within Disney Village at Disneyland Paris. Um and the fare has cost us two Euros twenty each per trip so two euros 20 each in the morning and two euros 20 each for coming back yeah. um really really cheap um you can walk from here we haven't walked because the weather's been really rainy and x y and z but if i just get google maps up for you quickly just to show you how long it will take to walk if you really wanted to so i don't know if you can see on there focused yeah so it's a 30 minute walk from here to the gates of Disneyland Paris. So if you really wanted to walk it, you could walk it. It says 30 minutes. I'd say that's probably more 20, 25 minutes 
if you are an average paced slash fast walker, wouldn't you? Yeah, and it's it's flat as well. And where's that it's taking not you hilly. to? Oh yeah, no, that's taking you to Disney Village. Yeah, that's pretty much. It's more like a 20, 25 minute walk in my opinion. But Google Maps says 30. <laughs> uh, so you could walk it if you wanted to, or you could get an Uber or a Bolt. In fact, I'll give you a quick price for you now. Bear in mind the time. It's currently, yeah, obviously the price can change depending on what time it is. It's currently 5 to 11, so it should be quiet because the fireworks are about to start. Yeah, Wait, yeah. this is heading to Disneyland price actually. But So it says 12 euros for an Uber. You just tap that for me. Yeah, that's on Uber. That's 12 euros if you want to get a taxi. And the distance in the car, how long you'd be in the car. You'd be in the car for eight minutes if you wanted to get a taxi from here. Do so you get Uber or you could get Bolt? Yeah. Um, yeah, but literally getting the train was really, really simple. Like I say, three or four minute walk, not even four minutes, it's good three minute walk from here to the train station the longest thing has been queuing to get a ticket for yeah, the train literally. there's always been a queue yeah. but then once you've got your ticket and you get down on the platform the trains are literally every five to ten minutes yeah and that one stop away is about from you getting on the train at Valde or up to you getting up at Marne Valley you're talking about four or five minutes on the train yeah and then you walk out and you are there Literally, you've got the Disney Village on your left, and you've got the Disneyland Hotel on your right, and the studios right in front of you. You're there, so that's probably the quickest way to get there and back. But I will say that us coming back last night, we left straight after the fireworks, and it was very, very busy. Um, mm. trying to get the train, we had to queue for quite a while for a ticket, and then um, the train was packed. It was like you know squished in like sardines. Um, yeah. And if that's not the sort of thing that you like, then I'd probably advise not getting um, on the train. train after the fireworks. Um, because we said if we'd watch the fireworks again tonight, which we haven't done, but had we done, we both agreed that we would probably get an Uber or a Bolt instead. And top tip for if you are leaving the park at a busy time, like after the fireworks, um, you're supposed to kind of go out of the gates that you're next to Five Guys slash Vapianos. Um, and get your Ubers um, from there. There's like a little roundabout and a bus stop and stuff, and it's where like the park, car park is. It's like near impossible to get an Uber or a Bolt from there when it's really, really busy and everyone's exiting at the same time. So my advice would be walk through the Disney Village and walk to one of the Disney hotels, which the closest hotel is Marvel, which is about a 10 minute walk. Yeah. And I'd walk through the hotel and go out of the front of Marvel and order a taxi to pick you up from the Marvel Hotel. And you'll get it in or seconds. another one and it will yeah. it will then guarantee to arrive because because everyone's ordering from the same place from like the roundabout bit. So just they just yeah. keep getting cancelled because people can't find you, you can't see them in X, Y, and Z and it's yeah. just a nightmare. So that would be my advice and plus then you're skipping the crowds because once you hit Disney Village and loads of people have gone to the train station, loads of people have gone out of the Vapiano Five Guys exit, the crowds massively die down. Yeah. Um, yeah. So anyway, so that was our review of Moxie Paris Val Europe. Would we stay here again? Yes. Yes, we would. Um, we personally prefer, we only ever come to this area to go to Disneyland Paris. We personally prefer staying at Disney, but if we ever can't stay at Disney, I think this is where we probably book again in the future. Um, yeah, anything else to say before we go? Just, we. I mean, we've only had like one interaction really with staff, but they seem friendly. Yeah. Like, we haven't had any problems. We haven't no, really had to no go problems. And speak to anybody. Like, housekeeping have been in both days and the rooms looked fine. Yeah, like the rubbish. We don't didn't think take anything's missing. No. <laughs> I know that's a, that's a big thing, especially in. Disney. Yeah. Um it's people pretty, are worried. It's pretty common though for housekeeping at Disney to steal yeah. things. Um but we've been fine I mean we've always been fine at Disney as well, but yeah. Anyway, yeah. It was really, really good. Um we highly recommend it. And if anybody has any questions at all about the hotel, leave us a comment down below. Or if you want to message us privately, follow us over on Instagram. We are at Daily Disney Girls or 
it'll be left down below linked in the description box and feel free to message us on there if you've got any questions um yeah highly recommend and um if anybody is interested in um who has watched this video and has not watched any of our vlogs before um if you're interested in our Disneyland Paris series and seeing a little bit more of the room <laughs> um feel free to watch our Disneyland Paris vlog series um thank you very much for watching this video please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it like I say comment down below if you've got any more comments or anything or questions and we shall see you next time bye, bye.